All right, book, we're going to start with Dwayne Rankin with the Arizona Republic and then Kellen Olson. Hey, Devin, obviously, uh, welcome back from the injury. Uh, Got to ask, though, about that last that last play. Uh, Coach said, obviously, you guys talked about it before. Just, just speak to – just take us through you going through that, getting the screen and freeing yourself up and, and, and pulling up like that. Yeah, uh, Coach Mike grew up a beautiful play, um, and we executed it, you know, from Chris – Get it in the ball, um, having a having a bigger defender on him, still being able to make the pass. DeAndre setting a good screen just to give me just an amount of space. So, you know, coach had a game plan and we executed, um, especially down the stretch, which was big for us. Just a quick follow up: we saw the game before where you were celebrating uh, during the comeback, and you was hopping on one leg, and I, I asked coach if that had given him a heart attack. Um, how good was the leg feeling? Tonight and obviously it looked like you started slow, but then but then they got it going in the second half. Yeah, um, it, it felt great. You know, I wouldn't go out there if it didn't. Um, you know, shout out to the training staff. You know, I've been working on it um, full time, all around the clock, um, and I've been waiting to get back out there. You know, I think we're we're making a push right now. Um, we're coming locked in throughout. Um, the last win was a really big win for us too, and. You know, to get the second one on the road trip, you know, it was great energy moving into the next one. Next is Kellen Olson, followed by Tim McMahon. Hey, Book, welcome back. It felt like you and Chris really established the intensity on defense at the start of the fourth quarter. How important is it for both you guys to do that in those moments when the game's on the line? Uh, not just all of it, not just me and Chris, it has to be everybody. Um, and that comes with communication. Um, that comes with holding people accountable. Um, and, and we're doing that. You know, I think we had a few slip ups um, tonight with a lot of offense rebounds. Um, but, you know, credit the Mavericks, you know, that's how they play. Um, but, you know, we're getting better um, and people are holding each other accountable. You know, there's constant communication throughout the bench. Um, so everybody wants to win. You know, it, it's fun to be a part of. Next is Tim McMahon, followed by Cody Cunningham. You've hit five of those go-ahead shots in the last five seconds in your career now. How comfortable are you in those situations, and, and how much do you look forward to those opportunities? Um, I look forward to them, you know, when the opportunity presents itself. You know, that's why we work so hard. That's why we train so hard. Um, that's how I use the imagination in my workouts to put myself in those, in those situations. Um, you know, so we have multiple threats out there where – where, you know, teams kind of have to pick their poise. Um, and it, it's good to be a part of, like I, like I just said. But, you know, we, we executed and we came out with, with, the, with the big one, right? Next is Cody Cunningham with Suns.com and then Brendan Clean. Hey, Book. Uh, following the game tonight, Chris was asked about you, and he said, you know, it's nice to play alongside a guy who pushes you. And he talked about the trust that you two have with one another. Just what's it been like leading this team alongside Chris, and how have you two been able to elevate each other's games? Um, like you said, you know, iron sharpens iron. You know, we, we both hold each other accountable. Um, we both have that similar approach where we, we want to win at all costs. Um, we're not worried about hurting anybody's feelings, you know, on our team or the other team. You know, we're going out there to win basketball games and, and whatever it takes to do that. And, you know, I'm learning from him every day. You know, he's been in every situation, you know, that I want to get to, um, you know, so I have, I have the cheat code of being alongside of him, his backcourt mate, um, you know, from on the court to off the court, just everything he does, you know, I'm, I'm a sponge to it. Final two questions are Brendan Clean with Forbes and then Christos Saltis. Hey, Book. Um... You talked about some of the stuff with Chris just right there, but just generally, what were you able to to glean watching the guys do what they did while you were away that maybe you incorporated getting back on the floor because they seemed to to click the past couple games even before this one? Yeah, you know, that's, that's why, you know, you never want to be injured. You never want to miss games. But, you know, I try to be locked in more than ever when I'm out. Um, just seeing the game at a different angle, seeing it at a different pace. Um and they, they were coming out with big wins. You know, big shout out to our second unit last game and this game. You know, when we went down <clears throat> five to ten in a stretch, you know, they come in right off the bench ready to play. You know, so that's Langston, Etuan, Frank, you know, all those guys just, just ready to hoop.
Um, you know, so that's, that's really important for us. Final question will be Christos Saltis from Greece. Hello, Devin. Congratulations on the win. Uh, how big boost do you get from, uh, the, from this shot against the Mavericks tonight? And uh, do you believe that this win with the way that you won is a kind of a, kind of a statement about your potential as a team? Uh, we just try to win every game. Um, we know the Mavs are a good team over here in our conference. Um, and every time we just we, we see a matchup, you know, we're ready to go. Um, so I don't think it's anything bigger than that. I don't think I'm not gonna say this is our breakout game or the time that we we turn the page of this team. You know, we know it's a long season, we know it's gonna be a hard fought season. So all we want to do is focus on what we can focus on, you know, and that's ourselves, ourselves, that's our team. Um, from the coaching staff to the training staff to the players in here. Um, we're trying to be all locked in on all cylinders, you know, because we have goals where we want to go and where we want to reach. Hey, thanks, Buck. Appreciate y'all.